In this video, we are going to assess uh, the rein back of this horse. We can see that um, the uh, handler is trying really hard to make him go back, and there's a good reason that the horse doesn't uh, want to go back. It's because he can't use his back, and um, he can't. We see that he can't really flex his uh, thoracic and lumbar spine nor his pelvis. Uh, which is something needed in order to uh, step backwards. So he would need collection to do that and he can't uh, engage his hind limbs. And because he can't uh, really flex his back, he instead makes side to side movements, so side bending and rotational movements of the spine to try and compensate for uh, that lack of movement. Looking at the hind limbs, we can see that the left one can uh, take bigger steps back but when the right one steps on the ground um, he side bends his body to the left and, and rotates because he can't really take weight on that uh, right hind. Now looking at it from behind we see exactly the same thing, abducting the right hind uh, and then pushing towards the left. So we'll see that uh, again. So abducting the right and then uh, swinging his pelvis to the left. Um, and that's probably because his uh, gluteal muscles on the right can't uh, support his pelvis when he's standing on the right hind limb. So what he does is he keeps his uh, right hind very straight uh, with all the joints extended and then pushes himself back and towards the left. And we also see that he moves the diagonal uh, legs at the same time. So he doesn't move the hind first and, and then the forelimbs. And that's because he has uh, shifted his weight to the forelimbs and they have to support most of the weight because he doesn't want to put weight on the hind limbs alone.